show you. Now, as promised, let's add a conditional style. In this conditional style, I'm just going to say anything under this to resolution that is under under five. Let's give it a color. Okay, so this to resolution under five. Let's give it a color. So new condition, this to resolution, hit OK, click the plus button, and let's put five. Right? And double click this so that it's it now goes to the top, right? So now it is anything under here. If I change things here, it is going to give things above five a color. But I want to put things underneath the five. So if it is five, if it's taken if it's not taking a lot of time to resolve things, let's actually go a bit fancy. Let's go over here and let's center it. Let's put, uh, let's change the font. We are just, just being, be, having fun here. Let's change it to House Vita. Let's make it bold. Let's change the foreground to, meaning the test. Should we make the test red? Or maroon let's make it maroon okay hit okay and then advanced should we put a border let's put a border around it as well so that it shows and for the border let's make it Fujisha I can pronounce that okay so that means that when that pop-up comes up that means that Cognos wants you to put something bigger so we put Fujisha and anything under five is just going to have a lot. It's going to have a lot of things. It's just going to be strange looking. So I'm just going to call this strange format because it really doesn't make any sense. I just want to show you guys how this will work. So when I click OK now, is now getting that special formatting and it is only being applied remember it's only being applied to the on time status world and now save your work so let's run this and see what we have this is the basic this is what you learn in the basic and this is what we just did for the advanced. You learned how to create this very advanced looking cross tab in 30 minutes. All right. Thank you.